the game happens so fast. And for linebackers and quarterbacks, it's really important that you understand what you're seeing. How do you do that? Well, today, we're talking to an NFL All-Pro about he did it in his game. Coming up right now. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro quarterback and quarterbacks coach here at EliteAthletesTV.com. Today, we're talking about how to slow the game down. There's so many things to think about, so many things to remember, both as a quarterback or as a linebacker. And so understanding how you can process what you're seeing, understanding how to act within the system that you're running is really important. Before I get started, make sure if you haven't done it yet that you subscribe and ring that bell. That way you get notified every time we have new content coming out. Give us a thumbs up, hit that like button down below, and make sure to leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Any questions, any comments that you have, write them down below and we'll be happy to get to them. So any player who's gotten to a certain level of success playing football understands that you have to be able to slow the game down, process what you're seeing. I see a lot of young players that just play full out, going 100%, and they make mistakes in terms of their assignments. And that's normal for young players. But there's a way to train both the physical and the mental aspects of your game so that you can slow it down and understand it better. It starts with fundamentals, and it works from there. Today... I'm talking to 16-year NFL veteran linebacker Hardy Nickerson about how he processed the game, about how a coach changed the way that he thought about football, and about how you can slow the game down by understanding global concepts. But you have to start with fundamentals. Well, I talked about that moment where the game slows down. And as a player, it's a fantastic sensation, and you feel like you have more control. Let's cut into that conversation with Hardy right now. All my young quarterbacks, I call that the matrix moment, where all of a sudden you recognize that it's not going as fast as it feels like, right? That's, that's a property of anxiety. That's a property of stress, that it makes things seem so fast. But yes. when you hit that matrix moment and all of a sudden you realize, I can slow this down, yes. then you're good. And it comes from reps. It comes from watching game film. It comes from yeah. having the history of a little bit of success. And you do that by building one block at a time, like we're talking about. When uh, the other thing that I was going to talk about is the visualization when you were doing it, right? Everybody mm -hmm. wants to go out and play. They want to play football, but that's not how you develop the skills, the, the fundamentals, the basics by playing. That's how you put them to use. But to develop those skills, those fundamentals, those basics, yeah. visualization and yeah. getting proper form the first time and repeating that over and over, how yes. often, not how often, but... How important is it for those kids to start with those proper steps, to start with the proper fundamentals first before they start playing? Very important, vital to, uh, you know, to the development of a player. Um, you go in just because you don't want to, you don't want to go past that too soon. If you jump to the next level, you, uh, okay, I jumped to visualization, but I, I, I forgot about my key reads. <laughs> <laughs> it's like getting in a car with no keys, right? <laughs> you get in the car and you'll have your key in there. You're pushing the start and they'll start up. Well, the same thing applies, right? You want to make sure that you, you're working those, those fundamentals that you work on a daily basis, you know, getting those, starting with those. Um, as you get better, maybe there isn't as much time that you have to have to spend on those, but you always want to reinforce the basic building blocks of what, you, of what you're building up on and then moving on and then moving on. Then you can move on to the visualization piece and, and start seeing, seeing more of the picture from a defensive perspective, that picture is seeing all of what the offense is doing. Now, now I, I can, you know, once I get that, those fundamentals established and reinforced, now I can move on to those things that are, that are going to help me play better, like formation recognition. Uh, I touched on this a little bit earlier about key reads, where your eye, where your eye should be, um, and understanding what types of plays that offenses are trying to run against you. And of course, that comes with 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 uh, studying film, study, and all that. But um, at, you know, starting off reinforcing those fundamentals is key in my opinion. Yeah. And that's part of what I call a training matrix or the three pillars of training for athletes is that 
you have to have the physical, right? So this is weight room, this is sprinting, this is conditioning, it's all of that stuff. You have to have the mental, so understand for young, young athletes, getting just the terminology of your offense, understanding what a trap or what the A gap is, right? Learning that stuff. So the mental when you're really young, and then it's the sport specific. If you're a linebacker, it's those read steps. If you're a quarterback, it's the proper grip on the ball, right? And so each one of these kind of grows and gets better. And you're trying to build all three of those pillars to give yourself a stable base. And the more you can kind of improve on each, the better you get at each and, and you become a better player. How did all of that kind of to wrap this thing help you perform in the NFL, right? Having those fundamentals together, building those pillars, getting all that together as an athlete when you focused on it. How did that help you compete so at such a high level in the NFL? Um, for me, um, uh, you know, I'll, I'll tell this story real quick. Um, you know, my first first two years in the in the NFL, I was, of course, being a young player, um, working on working those fundamentals and and growing, and then I hadn't quite gotten to the to that to that mental phase where you where your visualization and and of course that comes from the film study and and that type of that preparation side of it. Um, and then my third year, my third year in the NFL, one of my coaches, I had, I had, uh, uh, had an injury and one of my coaches said, Hey, well, while you're, while you're injured, let's have you do this. You break down the running game for everybody. And on, on, on the, the meeting days, I'm going to have you come up and tell everybody about the running game. Now, whoa. <laughs> so prior to that, I'm just, I'm just, okay. I, I, I'm fundamentals. And then, okay. I've got as a linebacker, he go, they go here. I go a gap. They go here. I go B gap. If it's pass, I drop here. <laughs> okay. Those are, those are basic, basic things to take my game to the next level. I started studying. Okay. And then I under, started understanding uh, uh, formation recognition of the offense, the types of plays that, that, are, that are run out of certain formations, um, who the ball carrier, primary ball carriers are, um, those types of things. In the passing game, I also want to start understanding, okay, route combinations. And if someone, if I'm playing zone coverage and I'm a hook dropper and there's someone in front of me, you can best believe there's going to be something coming in behind me. <laughs> So where do you want to play on those things? Well, you always want to be, if you're playing a zone coverage, you want to play more deep to short. Um, also started un gaining an understanding of down and distance and how that came to play in, in the types of plays that you see. So I, I started, I started uh, it, of course, the fundamentals were the building block and then understanding those, those, the mental aspect a little bit better. Man, it just helped me take that next step to being uh, being a really, really good player uh, in the league. And that's, that's kind of the way that it works for, especially for young athletes, physical always comes first, right? I can get bigger, stronger, faster, do all those things. Sports yeah. specific then ties into that physical where yeah. now I can use my improved physicality with my sports specific stuff to become the better athlete. Although I'm still assignment learning. Right. Yeah. And then all yeah. of a sudden the concepts open up. And the whole thing comes together to build a much better player. But without the fundamentals, nothing you can do. Hardware, I appreciate you coming on with us today, talking football. I love it. We're going to start a series here with all the athletes in Elite Athletes TV where we are breaking down where you start, where you go to, how you improve. And Hardware and I are going to do some stuff on the field with quarterbacks, receivers, linebackers as well, talk through game situations, give you some of those concepts. So appreciate you coming on here today to kick this thing off and more stuff coming soon.